What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Big Things Kentucky. Week five, coach. Five. What's going on? Have no fear. Big Things Kentucky is here. I'm Coach B, my man, man, Coach TB out of Sadden. Our new guy, Amiri. Shout out to him. Coach Trump, what's good? How much, man? We getting ready to go to week five. We got the standings updated, so everybody can take a look at them right here. Yeah, I had, I had I had one more loss that was on there. I took I took uh what's called over Berea, which Berea beat them boys convincingly. So shout out to Berea. Every time I pick against you, you win, God dog, you killing me. Uh Coach Bay, before we get started, I'm gonna give a shout out to you, Coach Pete, and Coach Seals for the great job y'all did on the middle school game. I was cracking up. Listen, y'all, I was at work, man. It was fun, a lot of energy. You being you jumping sides back and forth. Back and forth. Big, it's regular big thanks production. Oh. Okay. Okay. Yeah, okay. man. Uh and speaking of middle school, man, that Leeds Town team, I, hey, that I be told something you. to reckon with. Hey, I told them boys are special. Derek Calvert's son is nice. Gary Homer's son's nice. Uh man, JT Haskins' younger son is nice. That team's loaded. Loaded. Well, tune in next week as we will have the Eat of J. Hayes Lee's Town game live. That'll be that Thursday. So tune in for that one. Not this Thursday coming. No, next week. Next week. Okay. Yes. Now, Coach, I'll be. I, I might have come out. I might have. I'm going to call in for that one, Coach. I'll be there. <laughs> that should be a big one, man. It should be a big one. I, I'm going to tell you this. In the words of Del, Derek Talbert, I'm saying uh, charges by a billion. <laughs> Bucks by a billion. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Well, Coach, man, before we get started on this week, you know what I'm saying? Is anything kind of, you know, shout out to Prep Spin for letting us call the Lexington Cafe game. If y'all want to be entertained, we didn't get sound till like late in the second quarter because we were just figuring it out. But go back and listen to that broadcast. You got, hey, Coach, I like how we sound. Man, I had a ball, man. Shout out to young Trey. Uh jumped on there with us and did it. And like he said, for like he's worked with us forever. So, you know, it, it felt good to be able to make you feel that comfortable working with us. It was great, man. I loved it. Uh man, Warfield got a heck of a setup. Uh man, I, I love it. It was great, man. I definitely enjoyed it. Yes, sir. And we want to give a shout out to the Lexington Catholic community, man. They always love us and accept the supporters. So just keep doing big things less than the Catholic. Shout out to Miss uh, uh, Maria uh, Wessler, uh, big fan of the show, always shares her stuff and watches her son, uh, J Man, play over her, her and Jay Park son. Man, it was great uh, seeing, meeting her in person, talking to her. Um, Miss uh, Wessler and, uh, uh, and a friend who introduced herself to us, man, it was great to talk to them. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Well, Coach, uh, Anything else? I mean, outside of your defenders kind of doing a, uh, I don't know what you want to call it. it was, who was that? Uh, coach, it was, it was Tennessee Titans that was up. It, it was pretty terrible, Coach. Up, up 20 and nothing. Hey, we couldn't put no more points on the board to put Scott Cat away. That's off the coach McKee and I'm my coach. Cardinals. Hold on now. Hold on. Because you always want to say something now. To, to my Cardinals, Cardinals Coach. Uh, to the Cardinals, Scott. Cash. My Cardinals, coach. Uh, what they done that I man? He, he's a hey, he said he was, he said he watched him work this year. And he he looks good, he looks good. They look good this year. Yes, we they do. Good. I and gotta stop picking against them now. Also, you know, we had that the big game we were calling the Lexington Catholic game, so we couldn't make it to LCA for that game. Uh, apparently, Cutter Bowley has an ankle injury. We're yeah. still waiting to find out how his status is going to be for this upcoming week. But, uh, hey, Cal came in, and hey, they, they, Cal was who we thought they was. They hadn't get up a point all season, and uh, they gave Lex LCA everything they wanted, man. Man, to my understanding, the LCA went down a few quarterbacks and had to go deep, deep in the bench to pull out a quarterback. But shout out to them, man. Cuff the, I mean, uh, Lobo Cal is the truth. They've been the truth for some years. So they, they just said they are. They are who we thought they were. LCA, man, I'm telling you what, it was a, it was a big loss on a big stage, but uh, they'll definitely be back for sure. 
man, and I know my coach, Coach Doug, I feel like, you know, he got everything he wanted. This is what he wanted. He need to get you know, there. That's what yeah. he talks about. It's yeah. the only way you're going to get better is you got to go against those teams. Iron sharpens iron. So, I don't, you know. I don't think you'll find a tougher schedule in the state of Kentucky, I don't think. Yeah. Uh, and, he, you know, they, they battle tested. They'll be ready come state championship time. Hopefully Cutter be back soon. Uh, I'm going to go with Drew Nevis. You know, it'd be interesting to see what happens next Friday. Yes, sir. So that'll be Baron watching. Before we get started, Coach, we want to give a shout-out to our Golden Corral Player of the Week. Congratulations, son. Keep doing big things. Be on the lookout for your packet. Now, on to Week 5, Coach. Man, Coach, Week 5, man, another great slate of games. Uh, let's start from the top, Coach. You ready? Yes, sir. All right. Up first, we got 4-0 Pineville. We've seen them before. Coming to town to take on 1-3 and three Berea, fresh off a convincing win over Carvana for homecoming. Be on the lookout for probably one of our hidden gems in our area, Berea quarterback Jason Colburn. He's a hidden gem. I mean, his stats aren't great, but you know that their Berea is under man. They got a lot of injuries. The big thing with them is in their line play. But this kid is tough, and he's doing big things, man. Just kind of pay attention and watch him. Hey, another bright spot on that team is uh, Yamel Cruz, coach, running yes, back sir. 207 yards, five touchdowns. He's had a pretty good season for them, Coach. Definitely keep an eye on that young man as well. And like I say, man, right now, Coach Parks is dealing with numbers and injuries and, you know, and that line play in 1A, you know, you, you just got to – he's toughening it out. But on this one, Coach, I'm going with Pineville. Coach, you know, give me Pineville too, Coach. And be on the lookout for Sawyer Thompson, man. He's been doing big things for Pineville, putting up nice numbers passing. And on defense, look out for James Turner to make big plays for Pineville, Coach. Up next, Coach, we got an in-city rivalry, man. One in three, Taste Creek. Coach Hawks team, you know, quarterback Andrew Weathington and Marcarion Smith are a dynamic duo for the, for the Commodores when they're on and clicking. Lots of injuries with Taste Creek against your 0-3. Brian Station defenders, Coach. 0-3, oh, no offense, Brian Station. I'm, we win and we ride, and I still got love for you. Coach, is this, this the game that, you know, cut right, make some big plays, and they get the offense on track, and we see the defenders you were expecting at the beginning of the season? Well, first of all, shout out to Tesh Creek and Coach Hawks over what he's doing. They may be one in, I think, one in two or one in three right now, but, the, you know, they play some tough games, Douglas. Wolf County, Wolf County, and Delta is two of the best teams in 5A, hands down. Yes. Uh, but like you said, you speak about Tesh Creek offense. You also <laughs> got Marquavian Smith, uh, receiver, 142 yards. Then you got Keyshawn Doffick. Keyshawn's leading the team with three touchdowns, 80 yards receiving. Uh, so it's a nice little receiver call for a young team. One thing I noticed, though, is about Coach Hawks. I have to talk to, like I said, a friend of ours, Coach O'Brien. Coach Hawks is not playing with these young men. Yes. When he says six o'clock in the morning, he means six o'clock in the morning. You better set your alarm. <laughs> he really means five fifty-five. So you better set your alarm for four forty-five. <laughs> get your breakfast. Get you up. Get yourself together. Walk to school. You got to wake yourself up. Mama set your alarm, but you got to get there. You know what I'm saying? And I heads off to him. Yes. But so stick it to his guns, no matter win or lose. And that's how you build a program the right way. So heads off to him. And like I said, another guy like at my guy, Coach Demetrius Gay. That's out to them dudes doing it that way. But uh, I'm going to tell you what, Coach, this station offense, Lord have mercy. I love Coach Hawkins, but, oh, Lord, we terrible. Oh, Jesus. Where is my guy DG at? Somebody <laughs> help us. Please, somebody come out of the room. I'm about to call up Tony Bird and see if I can get Glenn Garner come out of retirement. Woo, mm -hmm. Coach, what is going on here? We up 20 nothing at halftime, and we lose 21 to 20? We going unanswered in the halftime? They had a total, the ball, I think a total of like four to five minutes. Ah, oh, we can't do that. We can't do that, coach. That's a no no. Unless it's the go like to the old Rams teams with some bum named uh, whoa, Anderson whoa. Dixon. Uh, Eric, whoa, whoa, uh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Eddie, 
Eddie Jones or Eddie, I, I don't some oh, some man. cat. I can't think of his don't. name, but he might be them ran, terrible Rams teams. Coach is off his door. Oh, wow. So what you doing, Coach? Are they? Oh, I gonna start on four. Or we get on track. We can't start on four, Coach. We can't. It is no way humanly possible to start on four. But I'm gonna say, give me the defenders, Coach. Coach, I'm going to go with the defenders, too, baby. We win and we ride, and I feel like oh, it's a home Lord. game. Taste Creek for the win. Taste Creek for the win. Like Taste Creek for the win. Mark it down now. Taste hey, I like this, though. You know, this is one of them city games. We usually have good games, so yeah. let's see what happens, Coach. This is a rivalry back in the day, many moons ago when I played. This was definitely a rivalry because Taste Creek used to dominate the city. Yes, sir. All right, Coach. Up next, we got 2 and one Sayer. Luke Pennington doing his thing, putting up big numbers with his wide receivers, Charlie Schleyball and Brock Kaufman. My guy, Brock Kaufman. On defense, you got Travis Smith doing things. They two and one coming off a bye after losing to Frankfurt lad the week before. Now, they will be traveling to Dayton, who is two and two, led by running back Landron Harper. Oh, Hopper. I'm sorry, Mr. Hopper. He's putting up big numbers. He's averaging 220 yards a game, Coach. Oh, Lord. So, uh, the Sayer keep things rolling, get back on track, or does Dayton get this win, Coach? Let's break this up a little bit. I think I know where you're going. You intrigued by big numbers and fancy things, you know, fancy cars, fast women, no offense to your wife. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> coach, give me Sayer. I'm taking Sayer too, Coach. What? Let's go. This is Sparta, Coach. I'm surprised by you on that one. You know, I feel that two of the survive yard being an old old ground eater up or lineman. If you think you go with the, the fastest running back, uh, I, I like I like what Sayer's doing. A shout out to Coach Pennington and the program he's built there. Mm -hmm. I'm a Sayer Spartan, Coach. Do it through, Coach. Up next, we got Wolf Caddy versus Franklin Caddy, which on paper is, is probably a, a good game. I'm saying Wolf Franklin Caddy has some tough games early on. Mm -hmm. Wolf Caddy coach is a machine. Do you hear me? Machine. Yes, we, we are, be, coach. We used to be a basketball player back in the day in case they called the machine. Everybody basket by the machine for well, touchdown by the machine, which is Wolf Caddy coach. Beat up on Taste Creek like they stole something. I heard it was some some uh, some issues at the end of that game because you know they said Wolf Caddy kept trying to score all the way to the end. Coach, we averaging about forty five points a game just about. Yeah. Coach, well they was on the average. They they tried to go a little bit over. It, I heard Friday day. Shout out to Wolf Caddy coach Dennis Johnson down there. He's like, man, the rabbits got the gun now, and I ain't letting go of this joker. So, uh -huh. Hey, I'm going wolf wolf coach wolf now, Franklin County's one and three. Cade Moore, you know, he's having a Cade Moore season. But Franklin County, like you say, a tough schedule. I don't know. You know, is this just kind of like maybe they they rebuilding and running out of players? This will be an interesting game. But, yeah, I'm like you, Wofo. Franklin County, just heal up, man. Well, you know, the thing about it is you, you look at probably – Two players that should be on that team, the backup quarterback at GRC, and then of course Jaws, who should be playing down there in Franklin County, whether it be for Frankfort High School or, or for uh Franklin County. So that, that means it's tough. But shout out to Coach down there and what he's done. And uh, but I think Wolfo is just too much for him. All right, coach. Up next, we got one and three Bourbon County. You know, shout out for them going out playing one of the 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 Cincinnati schools in Woodford, Woodward, I'm sorry, Woodward, yeah. the dogs. You know, good game there, but just couldn't pull it out. Taking yeah. on my undefeated 4-0 great crossing Warhouse, baby, Talon up. I'm putting respect on the name. Let's go, Talon's. Hey, great crossing. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Orion you Fisher, them. yes. You picked them one time. One time you picked them. And you got the audacity and the nerve to sit on like you've been riding with them from day one. You are what we call pitiful. Pitiful. Shout out to Bourbon County Clay Essence. He's got five touchdowns, four interceptions, 568 passing. You know, the running attack has been kind of slow getting started. Shout out to Demarius Day Day McKee. You know, he got 37 touches. Uh, Clay Essence got seven rushing touchdowns, too. Yes. Coach. 
Yes. I mean, you can't get my guy, uh, Floyd Allen, who's doing it on the offensive side, 161 yards, two touchdowns, and also doing his thing on corner, Coach. So who you picking, Coach? You say all that like you you with Bur- Bourbon County? You think they're going to do, do something with us? I think <laughs> – well, I almost, almost cussed. Lord, thank you for catching me. Lord, I almost said a bad word on this PG-13 show. Coach, I'm going great coffee, Coach. I'm going great right, coffee. Coach, all right, I coach. like Coach Bowman and them guys. I said my guy Kevin Doherty down there. Gabe Nichols. Coach Gabe Nichols scored uh, a rushing touchdown the other day. Uh, he, he's got three for the season. He's got three passing touchdowns, 351. I like my guy Gabe Nichols. Shout out to his dad. Give me great crossing. All right, coach. Up next, we got, and I'm just going to keep calling my running clock bandits, baby. My 4 0 859 Broncos continuing our tour of the city, known as the Streak, as we travel to Henry Clay, who is 2 and 2. You know, I went back and looked at the scores. Henry Clay has actually been playing, they played Douglas the toughest out of all the public city schools. So, Coach, I, is, do you have any faith in, in Coach Coach Gay doing something this week, Coach? Man, shout out to Coach Gay and them uh, Blue Devils. Uh, like I said, Blake Van Horn, I don't know what's up with him. He's got three passing touchdowns so far for the season, 237. And you got Malcolm Paul, the other quarterback. He's played four games. He's got 396, three touchdowns, four interceptions. Uh, Jacob Children running back from a Douglas Bearcat. 264 one touchdown. I just think Douglas is is Douglas what is Douglas. Saying, coach. Coach. We Douglas we are who we who we are. We are, yeah. All right. So you who you taking? Because I man, you ain't asked me that. Me All Douglas. right. So Douglas it I'm, is, coach. Douglas, and I'm not gonna say the dreaded words. Who you pick? Did you say who you pick? Douglas RC Cola, baby. That's what we do. We the running clock yeah. bandits. You do Coach Meach like that, maybe? The coach, it ain't got nothing to do with Coach Meach, man. He just ain't got the horses right now. And we got all the horses. That's why we the Broncos, <laughs> baby. They do. And we they, on the farm. They have a horse park full of them things. We might man. need to call it. We might need to change our name to Calumet. Yeah. <laughs> it might be a good job right there. Yes, uh, sir. Okay, coach. Up next, we got the the Bible Bowl. The 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 what's it called? The Holy War. They call it the Holy War. We've been calling it the Bible Bowl. Shout out to Coach Tanner for coming up with that one. LCA two and two taking on four and old Lexington Catholic coach at Lexington Catholic coach. I'll let you pick it. So go ahead. My man Walker the Diesel Hall. <laughs> You hear him warm up, baby. LCA is real banged up, and it's really going to depend on who's healthy and who they can get a quarterback. We don't have that information right now at our taping. Coach, I'm going Lexington Catholic, man. Lexington Catholic beat a nice PRP team. Like- Shout out to Jackson Wasick, the Doug Flutie of Lexington Catholic, baby. That little man, hey, he's short. you almost unassuming when you look at him, but all he does is drop dimes, baby. Uh, that young man turns the corner squares and showed up, Coach. He don't mind. He don't duck no contact. He don't duck no heat. Coach, he's got Max the DeGra- Max the Graph over there doing his thing. He's a receiving machine. Five sixty nine, ten touchdown. Uh, then your guy said walk with the diesel truck. Uh, huh? That defense led by the the the, the hurricane. Uh. What? Give me Catholic, coach. What? 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 <clears throat> uh, somebody scared, coach. What you said? You scared? Get a dog? Go to church? All right, we gonna light that down. We don't, coach we don't, Doug. We don't, it was Buford picked against you, not me. You picked Catholic too. I mean, I always pick against them. I'm just saying. You, this you pick like, I don't know my quarterback situation. If I get a call about my quarterback by before this show come out. I'm t- I'm just taking my own show and changing my pick. <laughs> hey. <it> <laughs> All right, coach. Up next, we got the hungry games. Cause both teams are starving for a win. We got <laughs> 0 4 East Jasmine taking on 0 4 Lincoln County. Coach, man, East Jasmine, like we said.
Justin Heisel, a dual threat quarterback, doing big things, man. Even for this East Jasmine, we see why Coach Bowling wanted to come out of that wing tee for this. But uh, and I think I'm gonna put the clothes back on, Coach. Let's go, East Jasmine. We get our first win of the season. Well, Coach, I can tell you this: Lincoln County is un- is winning this as well. But you know they've actually been in a few games. They got a nice little quarterback, Sayer Horton. He's got 707 yards, seven touchdowns, one interception. The running game's led by, you know, say a Horton as well. He does it all. Coach works sets there at halftime, takes <laughs> tickets before the game. Uh, then you got Seth Horton over there playing receiver, 242 yards receiving. Coach, you know what? I'm going Lincoln County, Coach. Okay, okay. All right, let's go, let's Jack. Break it, let's break this thing up a little bit. Let's break this thing up. All right. Well, I think this is another one we're going to agree on unless you want to just give me a win. Lafayette, man, coach is just – it's its one of them out of the frying pan into the fire. Man. And we talked about it when we talked to him about his schedule. You know, man, I mean, he just don't – he ain't getting no breaks right now. No, nah, I know. It, 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 the breaks aren't going to be there in a couple of weeks. Either. It's going to yeah. get better. He still got Creek on the schedule. still got Dunbar on the schedule. They got station on the schedule. I'm pretty sure because all city schemes have to play each other, so it's not gonna get even better, coach. Give me Madison Central, yeah, Madison Central and Madison Central. Hey, these are the Indians who we thought they would be, yeah, so, much better I, showing I this past week. They're healthy and everybody's rolling. We finna start seeing big things out of Madison Central, so watch them scoreboards, ladies and gentlemen. All right, coach, up next. We got Pulaski County coming into Big Things County to take on Madison Southern. Big Things County will get a look at one of the state's top quarterbacks in Pulaski County, Bryson Duggar, who's just putting up crazy numbers, throwing to his man Chandler Godley. Coach, Madison Southern just got their first win under Coach Payne. He's building things. One thing with him being from Southwestern, he's familiar with Pulaski being the defense coordinator there. He's played them. He knows what to, what to do and what to look for. I just don't think he got the horses right now. Give me Pulaski County, Coach. Coach, I, too, am going Pulaski County. But shout out to Ethan Woods, quarterback of Madison Southern. Mad South, 416 yards, four touchdowns, actually 139 yards a game. And then the running attack, you got one, uh, Rodriguez. 119 yards on 28 carries. I just don't think they got enough, Coach. Like I said, I'm going plastic. He's County. still he's still getting his culture in. He's still building. So we're going to be on the he, lookout. He, and he's really been in every game, you know what I'm saying, that he's had, you know, except for that, except for the second game of the year against GRC. And GRC is going to dog walk a lot of folks. You yes, we mean? are. We I'm are. talking about stop a mud hole, walk that bad boy drive. Jay talked him that night. He was so excited. Like he still still play with Jay. I'm like, hold on, man. Where this come from? Up next, Coach, our surprise team, 3-1 and one Paris, under Coach Taquan Rice, man, doing big things, Coach. Going to Morgan County, who's 1-3, uh, you know, the sports doctor, Ivan Rice, reminded me that I might have made a bad decision by picking uh, against the, the Paris Greyhounds. So I ain't going to do it this week. Give me Paris, Coach. Yeah. Oh, no, keep it going, Cletus. Keep it going. Keep that same energy <laughs> you had already. I'm going to tell you this, Coach. Shout out to Paris. I'll tell you my guy, Coach Ray, down there running the offense down there. You got young Coach Kurt, uh, Kurt down there, too. Caden K- Frederick, 420 yards on 34 attempts, five touchdowns, no interceptions. Darian Bell, 206 yards rushing. You had Jakari Ransom down there, back at quarterback, 119 yards. Coach, I like this little Paris team. Coach, give me Paris again, Coach. I'll go with Paris three times now. Three. Coach, we look good, Coach. A shout-out to Coach Rice, man, for coming back home and getting us back on track, man. Coach, I also get another young man a shout-out, Elijah Webb, Coach. Elijah Webb, got uh, he's played three games, got two rushing TDs. He's played receiver. He's played defense. Coach Elijah Webb, shout out to him on play corner as well. All right, Coach. Now, next up, we got my Scott County Cardinals 3-0 coming into town to take on Dunbar, who is 1-3 right now. And Coach Johnson talked about starting to see a rough road starting off the season with this schedule. 
and it was just a matter of staying healthy and growing with each challenge. Coach, man, this is another tough one, Coach. I'm going to say this about Dunbar. You know, it's kind of like, I won't say it's fool's go, but, you know, they beat up on East Jasmine pretty good. You know, they lost a very close game to a Mass Central game, Mass Central team, which, you know, beat a good LCA team. Then Woodford County started out strong and then just caught a flat tire and then didn't deal us anything. So I, and then, of course, they, they I guess, somewhat, now nah, they didn't keep Douglas below their average, but they played Douglas tough early until they ran out of gas. But you don't know what Dunbar team you're going to get. You know what I'm saying? And if we don't see the, the one we seen the first two games, I, I, I don't think it, I, I, I'm not to pick against them, Coach. I, I, I don't know. I, I don't. I don't see anything make me want to jump, jump, jump ship back on her. I feel they would be the second best team in the city of Lexington. I also, I figured Dunbar would. Hmm. Uh, led by Jacoby Bickerstaff, two hundred six yards, two Ds receiving, almost seventy yards receiving a game. Quarterback Ethan Trail, uh, five twenty one, four touchdowns, two interceptions. I don't know, Coach. I don't know. Coach, you do know. Don't say it, Coach. Say it. What's our name? Say our name, Coach. Let me ask you, are you, have you Scott Cat is 3 0, but are you really impressed with that 3 0? Coach, we are young. We ain't even peaked yet. My man, Coach McKee, he getting us back. Hey, we just, this our, this our trajectory. That's what we doing, Coach. You know what? I can't stand your face. We were down 20 out. points, Coach. Give me Dunbar. Mm, mm, mm. Give me Dunbar. You, you dislike us that much. I dislike you that much. Well, you know, let's go, baby. Cardinals for the win. You know what? RC Cola, baby. Oh, ho, ho, ho. the disrespect. The disrespect. RC Cola. And I love you, Coach, I love you, Coach Johnson. Johnson. I like Coach Johnson. And I, I love the Bulldogs. But right now. We just we banged up. It's a lot going on, and this is not the time. You know, we just this ain't. It's a bad time for us right now. I'm going down by coach. I'm going down by. All right, coach. All right, all right, coach. Up next, we got Ashlyn Blazer. You know, tough Eastern Kentucky team. They one and three right now on the season. Coming into town to take on two and two West Jasmine. Jacob Jones, you know, we know all the names. You know, Coach Marsh has got the Colts, you know, on that upward trajectory as well. Coach, I'm just letting you know I'm going to Ashton Blazer because, you know, I got to ride with my Eastern Kentucky people because they look out for Coach Truck. Coach, I'm going to get you on this one once again. Give me West Jasmine, Coach. I like, I like West Jasmine. The Tom Cats led by Coach Chad Tackett. Man, there are two losses. Two of the three losses have come to teams out, out of the state of Kentucky. They lost to Raceland. They lost to George Washington out of West Virginia. They lost to uh, Willersburg, Ohio. I like West Jasmine, Coach. Take my chances. There you go this, picking with your heart, Coach. This, we winning, we riding, Coach. This is going to keep me pulling away from you. Keep this little bit of this distance for me. All right, Coach. Well, good luck. Those are the games for this week. We got a lot of things going on this weekend. Coach Bue will be re renewing his wedding vows. So, therefore, we will not have a live pregame show this week. But tune in next week. We'll be back out doing what we do. Coach Bue, congratulations on the on the, on the the anniversary. and about, It's not your anniversary, is it? The anniversary is the 14th Wednesday. Okay. 20 years make Wednesday. Okay. The 16th, we just do a little vow renewal. Okay. Man, just uh, – you know, me and you dealt with some health issues and a lot of issues during these years, the kidney pain and stuff, then a battle with COVID, man. So just me and you being here is a blessing. But to be here and be able to, you know, do tribulations, make it 20 years with my wife. So we're going to try to celebrate a little bit. Let all that stuff go behind. Let Coach Truck lay his hair down a little bit. Think he's going to dye his beard. <laughs> but, uh, man, we're looking forward to it, man. It's going to be great. Uh, then I may get some money back in my pocket after all this is over because I'm broke. All right, I'm looking forward to a great night with everybody. Hopefully, the cameraman's cameraman's in the house too. He's gonna so, be in the building because we'll get a picture posted. Y'all be looking for it on Instagram, yes, sir. So, if y'all make sure y'all give Coach Butte congratulations on all that. 
Coach View, man, anything else before we close out this week? Man, as always, you actually be a living donor. I'm Coach View, my man, man, Coach TB on the assignment. Coach Trucker, anything else? Peace.